Kamala Harris's recent remarks about abolishing the Constitution are alarming. Though she has often positioned herself as a defender of the Constitution, such statements raise serious concerns about her true intentions. The Constitution is not just a document. It's the bedrock of American, American democracy and personal freedom. Calls from any presidential candidate to dismantle it strike at the heart of the nation's core values. We all know, listen, so much is on the line in this election. It can't be said seriously enough. So much is on the line. And compounded with everything else that we knew was on the line, think about the fact that last month, the United States Supreme Court basically told a former president who has been convicted of fraud that going forward, he will be immune no matter what he does in the White House. Think about what that means and the changed circumstances since 16620 when you think about what that court decision means. Donald Trump has openly vowed if reelected, he will be a dictator on day one. That he would weaponize the Department of Justice against his political enemies. That he would round up peaceful protesters and throw them out of our country. And even, quote, terminate the United States Constitution. So let us be clear. Let us be clear. Someone who suggests we should terminate the Constitution of the United States should never again have a chance to stand behind the seal of the President of the United States. Harris's words are particularly troubling when contrasted with her party's policies. The right to free speech, the right to bear arms, these are non-negotiable rights enshrined in the Constitution. Any attempt to undermine them, no matter how veiled, deserves scrutiny. The question is whether Harris's commitment to these principles is genuine, or if it's a convenient facade. Her rhetoric seems strategically designed to stoke fear and rally support by painting her opponents as a threat to these fundamental freedoms. This tactic is not new in politics, but it raises uncomfortable questions about her authenticity. How can someone who champions the Constitution also endorse policies that potentially weaken it? Voters are left grappling with conflicting messages. On one hand, Harris positions herself as a guardian of constitutional rights, while on the other, her party's actions suggest a different agenda. This cognitive dissonance could lead to a deeper distrust in political leadership. Supporters may view her warnings as a necessary defense against authoritarianism, while critics might see them as hypocritical fear-mongering. The ultimate question is whether Harris and her party's policies truly align with the constitutional values they claim to uphold, or whether they represent a deeper threat to the very freedoms they purport to protect.